Welcome to Elk Shape HQ. I stole Tyler Denham's bow. We're gonna put a new sight on it. Oh, okay. We're gonna put a new rest on it. Okay. Order these from Black Ovis. What do we have here? <laughs> you could hammer nails with this. <laughs> okay, so we're not, <laughs> Spot Hog, if you're watching. <laughs> no, it's, I'm saying it's literally that durable. This thing is so durable, it's so incredibly well built that you could literally pound nails in with Basically, it. Basically, I want to put the MX2 on. Yep. Give them a little integration. Good, good improvement on that too, by the way. The little rubber insert the thing in there so you're never putting on stuff that wears out. That's that's really dope. I like that they did that. I mean, they still have the fabric down the bottom here, but instead of it going all the way up in the arms, when you end up having your cord stretch on you or that sort of thing to where you're getting some contact and maybe you're not paying attention to it, you won't wear the fleece off. That rubber's never going anywhere. So this is a great, great improvement to an already well-built rest. Yep, and you can kind of have full containment and sneak around, crawl yeah. around. You don't have to put your index finger over your arrow while you're... Yeah, no, there's there's a lot of pluses to this, and it does come up on its own if you don't cock it, where some of the ones that are cock and contained, to lift it up or it won't come back. Let's do pricing Least first. expensive to Ish. most expensive. Okay. This is a three, low threes. Low threes? Mid threes. Uh, these get into upper threes. Upper threes. As you increase pins, you increase cost. Um, so this is gonna get more expensive from like a single pin to a five pin or from like a three pin. Now I wanna say the pick, this is a three pin as well. So these have the same configuration. This is your dovetail, this is your pick. So this is your fits in a Matthews or I want a dovetail. This is your, goes on Picatinny mount systems. PSC, Hoyt, Hoyt, PSC, Botec. Prime, no Botec. Botec did some dumb. <laughs> did I say that? Sorry. <laughs> they did. They, did. they made their own thing. Nice. So now you got to try to fit. And these guys are not going to make a site that'll go on that. Neither will hardly anybody else other than Black Gold, who is under their blanket of pure archery. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So that was probably more a matter of we kind of want you to encourage you to buy a Black Gold site, especially because they did their own private label stuff this year. So the, they say like Botec on them and it's all Black Gold product. So, but yeah, this is your direct dovetail version. Universal mounting, so you can mount this to anything, but if you're using a Matthews, this is, goes through your bridge lock if you want to mount it that way. And if you're going to use any of their quivers, you better run this because it doesn't clear otherwise. Gotcha. So even their direct mount version does not clear. This is a Picatinny version of the same thing. Three pin, three pin. No difference here. This is a dovetail Fast Eddie XL triple stack. So if you want vertical pins instead of horizontal pins, those are basically your configurations here. Outside of that, same thing. Bridge lock and windage. So as long as you have the updated versions, which anything currently should have them. In fact, looking, that's got the appropriate bracketry in it. So they remade the windage here. Like you, this right here is the old one. Got it. The new one's got this big T looking thing that sits on the end here that allows you to move your left and right. Well, you'd need a different part, which I, they're like 30 bucks. Okay. Like, it's not a big deal to change it. And you probably have a part in here from one of them. Well, Rob, to Peter do that, which you could. Yep. So, but this is, um, this is a little bit heavier is your only negative to this contraption here is there's more aluminum in here than in that. I think that's slightly honestly, lighter. But it's not drastic, it's real close. And I like the vertical pin personally, because it looks I like one pin with three dots. Care. So for, for uh, the purpose of like a pleasing sight picture, to me, it's better. However, he's shooting four horizontal pins. Be 10 pounds to. of shit in a five pound box. There's a lot going on there. <laughs> it's hard to aim with, but if that's what you're used to and that's comfortable for you, rock it. This sight picture looks a lot better, yeah. as does this sight picture, but where the side pins don't. But if you're used to side pins, it will probably have the opposite effect to you. You probably won't like it. Yeah. Like you'd be like, but I need the distances between them because my brain visually sees these bars coming out for gap. Yeah. Where Mine doesn't. Okay. Mine sees a dot and then I go, oh God, I need to add 10 yards. So I use another pin dot in there as opposed to a side structure. So he probably will like either a three pin or five pin. I would I would do a three personally, just from the standpoint of let's clean this up a little bit. I mean, see if you like a cleaner sight picture and then maybe from that point, then it's like a kind of like a gateway drug. To Plus try he's never had wires going down the middle. He might love that. I it is great. Like that part's really dope, which the intent of that was just to make sure they line the pins up right. Cause it was so easy. Cause when you turn those angled pins in and out, they're actually moving in and out too. Yeah. So you very easily have them effed up. Okay. So the having the wire there helps you line them up in a vertical line. The side effect of it is it actually helps you tell what your vertical looks like when you're pointing. It's it's a cool thing that no one else has. They're the That's only true. one with a wire in it that I've seen. So anyway, Tommy Hogs, which this is a this is a direct mount Tommy yep. Hog, and so is that. And the only difference between these is a one pin and a five pin head. How is the Tommy Hog different, right? That's our question. Yeah. It looks. It has micro knobs, so uh, and it's the same as the Hog Father as far as how it works. So rather than open one of these clamshells up, I'm going to open one of these up to explain I'm how excited. the movement works. Okay, so this is off of the chassis of the original target site. Okay. So this is not. It's a hunting site. It's quiet like a hunting site, but it has features 
that would be more common in a target site, i.e. you pull this out in the free spools. How's that, can I just test that? It's smooth as butter. Oh yeah, oh right? yeah. Oh, so yeah. the internals of this are sealed as opposed to exposed. Exposed. Right? So they work on the same rotation and they're like the same size knob. So you're not like gaining or losing anything okay. for shooting one or the other. This is a higher precision piece of gear and it doesn't sell nearly as well because it's more expensive and people right. overlook, what is this doing? Like, why am I paying more for this site? Because it looks the same at a glance, but it's not. That's a lock. You pull it towards you, twist the knob however you want, push it back, it locks it back in place. It doesn't move, right? Now, if you want to move it a finite amount, twist the knob, it oh, drives shoot. it. Shoot. Most people don't know this site does this. All right, now the only difference between Hogfather and Tommy Hog is the dovetail, track mount. Ah. The same thing. Right, so this and is you this came cool, out like ammo box. Yeah, that you're gonna <laughs> stick on your shelf and never use. This came out like before this. This okay. was their simplified answer to this. Uh, okay. This was their more sophisticated. Hey, we're gonna make the coolest, greatest movable site that's ever been made, and we don't care how much it weighs. Yep. Right, because they're they're overbuilt, and that's for the person who really wants something overbuilt. They are the the failure rate on these is lower than anybody's. Like these things don't break. But this is also slightly heavier than this. Like if you pick the two up, and granted you gotta take that off, but feel the weight. Oh yeah. It's heavier. Significantly. So, the triple stack is yeah. heavy. Yeah, but you're you're running more metal in here, but this this system is much cleaner. Like and it's sealed. So like running through the woods, sticks, dirt, grime, green, that's getting in there. This is sealed. Well so, he is running a dovetail. Yeah, and your dovetail will pull up right on. And this is the windage I was talking about, by the way. See all the holes? Yeah. See, there. See all that big left and right right there? That allows you to put it on a bridge lock so you can move it in or out however much you want. You could literally dang near flip this thing around to where you couldn't even see the site anymore. It'll move so far left or so far right. Why is the housing so much? So on the triple stacks, they had to go with a larger housing to have an adequate amount of clearance for the pins vertically and horizontally. The two pin head, which is what this is, is smaller. So if you buy a single pin or a two pin, the head's substantially smaller in diameter. Will they ever when make you a go triple a stack and a small head? Doubt it. Is it multi-ring technology? I think that's what they're saying. Yeah, with multi-ring technology. Technology. So it's different sizes of circles so your peep lines up a little better based off of the small amount of change. So you can also move your site in or out to try to change the size of your housing in relation to your peep, but this gives you the op option or opportunity to frame a little bit more specifically. It always kind of tripped me out looking at it, like it was hard to look at. So whenever I shot these, I always put the single ring, which comes with all of them. So if you want just one glowing yellow ring, you have that option. But if you need to base the size of your peep a little more, you have options to do that. Same with the bigger ones. They come with bigger trip rings um, that allow you to frame on that. But you get this big of a front housing and start having a longer draw length, average face structure. You need a gigantic peep to see all the way around this. This gets a little difficult on the longer draw length people. So I've had a lot of people take that off and put that on because it's smaller. So when you're trying to frame around the outside of these bigger heads, yeah. that's gonna be more common. Smaller one, this is probably fine for the sure. average person. Now, if you have a shorter draw length or you're, you tend to anchor with like a smaller nose with your eye closer to the string or you don't put your tip of your nose on the string, it's gonna look huge and it won't matter. You can use whatever peep size that is appropriate at that okay. point. But you start getting these big things on longer draw lengths, which Tyler has a longer draw length, his peep might not get big enough to get all the way around this. Cause you don't Dude, go past the corner. That's pro knowledge. Well, that's pro knowledge. It's Good reality. Job. It's Good trying job. to get that to line up. But every, like I said, everyone's face is different. So even if he's you know, got a longer draw length, if he has like a, a shorter nose, when he goes to tip his head forward to touch the string, the peep's closer to your eye. So you don't need as big of a peep. So everyone's different. But in, in my experience, this big of a head on a longer draw length tends to be hard to frame. Last thing, mm -hmm. uh, basic features. Obviously I wanted to point out the fibers are really well protected on spot hogs. They're bomb proof. Maybe the best of anybody. Yeah, they're internal, right? So you can't, you know, you can't see the fiber when you look at the back. There's nothing to snag. And this is all encased through here and all the transitions are underneath this. I don't know how you'd ever break a fiber off. And these pins are fat, like long. Like the base of it, you can't really see it from the camera angle, but it's got a, it's a fin. It's not mm -hmm. a, a dowel, right? Or not a metal wire that's bent. It's like legit rigid. Like you could chuck a rock through there and you're probably not breaking a pin. You might break the fiber off the front, but the pin's probably holding up. And it's not exposed on the Tom, on the Hogfather. Yeah, the right? Hogfather is completely covered. I mean, it's, it's, it's a slick site that gets very little play. Right. Now granted, that is also like a $525 site where well, this is like a 300-ish. Yeah, that's one thing we didn't talk on. These get up into the fours and those get up into the fives if I remember right but they have the same gearing and smoothness to them and they do move very smooth. You start, I, yeah. you go from here to here and there's a big jump in price too. Like that one pin to a five pin, 
I want to say it's like somewhere between fifty and hundred dollars more Damn. to go from there to there. Could All on the we... same chassis. The magic of editing. Hi, Tyler. Hi. We we're just talking about Hi. you. How was that trek? Are your arms tired? Did you guys call each other and be like, hey, wear this? Uh, yes. Apparently. We, uh, there was a dress code. Coordinated. You missed the meeting. Uh, Joshua has a question for you, and you're going to have to make uh, a decision right now. Would you prefer five pins or three pins, or 19 thousandths or 10 thousandths? You want to see the size difference? So if you see the size of that pin? Mm -hmm. That's 10. That's 19. Pretty substantially <clears throat> difference in size. Why would I go one versus the other? Okay, so where your smaller pin is going to be a big advantage shooting long distance because it doesn't cover up the target as much. The bigger pin is going to be an advantage in low light because a larger fiber will show up longer as light's fading. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And then we, we traditionally hunt in states where lights aren't legal. If you had a light, the size of the pin wouldn't matter. You could automatically go to the small pin because if you can't see it, turn the light on. Guaranteed you can see it. Mm -hmm. But because we primarily hunt in states where we can't use lights, you probably ought to pay attention to that factor. Yes. I think I would want to try larger pins, but on the vertical post. Oh my God. He wants on to. On that? Two oh, or so three then. Three. Okay, you so want a triple you stack, want a, triple a double stack? stack? Yeah, there you go. So we'll take that head and put it on the other one. And Done deal. Voila. All right. Because um, I'm assuming you Come back the... in about an hour. <laughs> yeah, we're going to yeah. have your bow ready for you to shoot through paper. Sweet. Get out of here. So we're taking Peter. Well, ideally, I mean, if, as long as you're good with it, we can take whichever one of these you want and just take the head off it and take the assembly. He wants it. that head. He can have that head. Okay. So all we got to do, like in this instance, is just unscrew those two screws. Doot, doot and reattach those, and this has already got the windage plate on it. We're good. Okay, I liked my setup this year with the UV slider. I had 30, 40, 50. That's what I walked around set at. Yeah, the only um, the only thing I got a lot of feedback on that site about was one, not a zero stop at 20. Yeah. Right, which sucks. Um, and that the uh, the pins were, like the attachment system, the pins was kind of really frail. Like if you well, tried to tighten is. and loosen the screws, there, she come. it is frail. The movement But it lasted. Slick. It, oh yeah, my the God, the ergonomics? Slick. It's clean, the ergon yeah, it's, it, it's very, it is very Apple. Yep. So, it's very Apple. Like that was an Apple sight. If Apple yep. made a sight, that's what it would look like. Shelf walls clean with new product all the time. No hot dog in the hallway. I, I mean, it's not rock solid, but it's it's about the right dimension, and you can find an indent that works for you. I don't know how far you want this in or out, but that's in an indent. What if he wanted it all the way in and did a Josh Jones? You want me to hack this bitch off? So you we don't want do you don't want to get this too from clearing your quiver, right? Mm. So if your arrow's in there. I would think about there. Well, let's try it. Let's find an indent. So that's an indent. You can kind of jostle it back and forth, and you'll feel it catch. Cables. I want to be able to do this and this, and not touch the arrow. And I kind of find myself moving my hand out. Uh, so okay. I'd almost go a little farther out. Pro tip for Tyler: when you pull an arrow out of your quiver, pull that one first. You pull that out. You have more clearance here. And you always want to leave this as your second draw arrow because it's the closest. fastest one. It's closest to you, and, that it, is and it's kind supposed of a to pull pro towards tip. you. That's, like that this, this should always tip. be your second arrow out of your quiver. Your first arrow should be the one that's farthest away from you. I've heard you say that before, and I'll be honest, struck. Josh, I'm never going to do that because I've trained myself, but it makes sense. I know my <laughs> little slow here. <laughs> but if you pull that arrow out first, yeah, right? Now yeah. what's in your way? Nothing, right? Yeah. So you could have your hand in here, rotate your knob, and your hand's not going to hit your arrows. So I'd probably leave it right there okay, and have that be the first arrow that you pull. And you can move it up or down on your micro drive. Typically, if you're at the bolt hole, that's at the bolt hole. It's sitting at the bolt hole. You probably won't have to move it, but you know, we'll find out. And cord cable driven rests are a little different than limb driven. Limb driven, it gets a lot more load on it, so it'll act differently in that regard. Because we're clamping this on, I'm going to move this up a little bit and put it more. Is it on serving? It's on serving. Okay. I want on serving. You put it on there, it's likely to slide. If you put it on serving, it's not likely. So. That's pro tip. And that cable goes downward, so it won't obstruct anything up here and it's far enough away that it's not going to touch anything here on that rotational point so you t you stick it on but you don't tighten it ridiculously just snug right and then you draw the bow back once and it'll pull the cord to the length you want it at and then you tighten it down really hard and just let it pull it to its length look at this guy pull set it until it stops and then set it down and then take your cord and pull it down just a tiny bit like that and then tighten it up and that thing should rock this party like a hurricane there you go I like the rest position left to right, so I would run it through paper, right like it is. And you can make that decision after you shoot it, if you want, however you want to do that. Well, Tyler, here's what else came with all your stuff. You have sight tapes. It does include the long range ones. It only stops at 100 yards, which is kind of lame. Spot hog, you should include long 
so people shoot tack now all over the country and you got a couple rings. Did you know which ring you're gonna, do you think he'll go with that one, Josh? Um, I guess bigger house. Well, this is already. I got have the small extras. One on. is what this, I have. But this has got the small one on, which is probably what he's gonna want to run. Okay, cool. It's pretty slick. Well, yeah, and you can also mount it to the other side of the plate, too. That is going to be super close. Money! So you use your second it's axis. It's a gas. Second axis dialed. Yeah, and the third's uh, still a shooter deal. It's these two right here. Can you do so it you can do it. You can do it So you can do it with a Gen 2 if you want. Here's the crappy part, is those adjustments are in the way of this. So it's like you tighten or loosen here to... Right? For a third. And it is loosen really both of them or no. You tighten one and loosen the other. So that's how. That's no different than how I just moved that here. I tighten one and loosen the other, and it drives it right. a little bit. So this is one that you could feasibly go up and shoot and move it a little bit at a time until it lines up. But you're gonna need a stubby wrench to get into here because it's in the way. I got. You know negative about that? you're standing so close, it's hard to miss. Okay, so we did cover quite a bit of Spot Hog offerings. I wanted to give a shout out to Spot Hog for making one of the most bulletproof sites on the market. And I hope you guys are coming out with some newer stuff. It's been a minute for 2024. It'd be cool. I mean, they did add the pick. So that was last year. They in, they yeah. incorporated a pick mount, which yeah. that was a new thing, but it'd be nice to see a new site. Yeah, we'll I see could. what they're cooking. But Tyler's yeah. never run Spot Hog. You won the triple yeah. stack. Yeah. On the Hog Father. Hog Father. Hog Father. Hog Father. Hog Father. Hog Father. <laughs> triple stack. And then now you got the MX2 yeah. QAD. The new you, version. You're tinkering. Yeah. Yeah. And you didn't really have a say. <laughs> Some <laughs> is involved. We messed with your stuff. Now you got to go sight it's it a one, It was a one-shot hole. So, I mean, there's that. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's good. It's, it's good. It's it good. should. It shouldn't really change much other than having to recite an entire site, which sucks. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Have fun reciting and go to Josh. <laughs> go to Josh's shop and buy the long-range sight tapes. Uh, Josh, how long? Those got to like one. I think they're 120. 120. Right, like okay. 120 or 130, something like that. That'll be cool to yeah. Yeah. be able to do that. And maybe we'll make you go to Total Archer Challenge with us. Um, it's a good time. <laughs> it's a good time. It is a good time. Awesome, guys. Well, we hopefully you enjoyed this little tinkering sesh. Wanted to give some love to Spot Hog. I bought all those sites from blackovis.com, discount code ELKSHAPE. You can also go to Podium Archer for all your archery needs. Mm -hmm. And you can also go to tylerdenim.com. <laughs> for all your foot pics. That's, what, that's not .com, it's OnlyFans. Ah! It's OS. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next one. Oh, that's good. Foot pics, baby. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs>